There are a certain number of interactive widgets that are available to all plans as well. You can find them under In5 Interactive Widgets, and they're up here at the top under Basic. So there's audio control, there's control of hyperlinks, image sequences, pan and zoom, scrolling frames, slideshows, video, and web content. Since I happen to be on the video page, I'm going to select this video and we can take a look at it. So this gives you an idea of how much more control you have over the video. You can autoplay, you can set it to mute. A lot of the browsers restrict autoplay to muted videos, so you need this extra bit of control. And again, that's part of all plans. You can, of course, loop. Um, you can play it full screen when it's allowed. Usually that requires uh, the user to interact before it goes full screen. And you also have some sophisticated things like end actions, like you can trigger the, the next page when the movie's over if you just want to keep it pressing forward. Or if you want to go to the next state of a multi-state object, you can trigger that. If you want to you know, have a call to action button or something like that at the end of your video, you have that capability as well. Let me show you another one of these. I'll select this item. This is a multi-state object, but as a widget, I have all these slideshow controls. So here, this is set to autoplay. I can set the duration, the number of times it plays, have a crossfade transition, and I can also set it to swipe. Uh, so I can create different effects with that. Let's take a look at another widget. I'll go to N5, Interactive Widgets, and Hyperlink. This panel gives me control of where this hyperlink opens. So by default, it will open in a new window, but I can control that. I can say I want this to open in the same window. Maybe I want it to open in a light box on top of things. That's the kind of control that you get from the basic widgets. In another video, we'll take a look at the pro widgets.